Dear friends, I know sometimes it is difficult for us to say no to others when they ask for our mobile phones for various reasons. They could be known people or even strangers. Once a personal mobile is in someone else's custody, there is every possibility that they sneak peek into our personal data and misuse it. Apart from a lock screen, it is also important to set a security key for all important apps we use in our Android mobile. Let's see how this can be done. Without any further delay, let's get started. Okay, now we'll install an app. Go to the Play Store. Search for A-P-P-L-O-C-K. Keep the capitalization in mind. Scroll down until you see this app lock by Kevl Apps. No, don't get confused by the app icon. Let me just show you some of the features in the time it installs. Lock any app. You can lock your favorite apps or the apps which have your personal information. Multiple lock. If someone gets access to your passcode, it's not enough. They need to get also get access to your second passcode. Capture intruders photos. Whenever someone tries to get into your get into your app and fails, the app will automatically capture a photo of the person who tried to log in into your app. Lock screen notifications. These kind of notifications tell you whether the app is locked or unlocked. Hide app lock icon. This is a cool feature because whenever someone tries to open the app, open the app lock app and try try to change the password or uninstall the app, they cannot find it because it's in a different icon. Cool. Fake crash. If you don't want them to use your app while you hand over your phone to them, this is a very useful tool. It can crash the app. Even though there is no problem with the app, it will crash it. Hide pattern. This is a cool feature because when someone tries to peek into your phone while you are opening your app, it hides the pattern. And yeah, I want to mention some things. This, can, this app also has a feature named Stop Force Uninstall. This means if someone tries to uninstall the app and open the app without an log, this cannot happen because the app will ca cancel the operation. I'll show you how in just a moment. Open the app. Click on start. We'll just create a pattern for now. You can also check the unlock with fingerprint option or if you don't if you don't prefer a pattern or would like to go with a pin, click on the 1, 2, 3 option here. Set a pin and click on the check mark. User recovery email. Tap the one you would like to choose and click on OK. Click on finish. It will ask you to grant some permissions. Turn the toggle on, another permission, search for app lock, it usually is on the top, toggle the permit users access, go back and go back to the app. It will ask you for the pin. When you type your pin correctly, it will open the app. Here is the list of apps. You can select from any of these apps. We will just try with calculator now. Click on the lock. Now when it's done, to confirm it will show a blue lock instead of a grey unlock. If you want more customization over the app, click on the gear icon and 
toggle enable custom settings these settings will be these settings will be available for you to start fingerprint you can use a fingerprint to unlock the app fake crash as i mentioned before this feature is available when you toggle the enable custom settings option now here there are two unlock methods primary and secondary primary one is a pin for now and the secondary one is a pattern if you want to have if you want to have a secondary unlock method use pattern or vice versa create a pattern confirm the pattern and click on okay now you can change the pin or the pattern i'll just change the pin for now primary unlock method is pin so click on change pin what this does is it will override the current pin which is set for all apps i'll just set 1 2 3 4 1 and 1 2 3 4 click on okay let us try open calculator it will ask for a pin now 1 2 3 4 it will open the calculator again it will ask for a pin but you can use your fingerprint as you have set up before i'll just show you with another app we'll lock amazon click on yes if you want to exit Okay, let's try one, two, three, four. Wait, why there is an error? Hmm. One, two, three, four. Isn't it? Okay, I remember. There is a different app. There is a different lock for each of my applications. That's great. Five, six, nine. The existing one was seven five six nine. So when I type seven five six nine, it worked in Amazon. But when I type seven five six nine in calculator, it won't work because there are two separate pins and patterns for each of them. Cool, isn't it? Now let me show you another feature. Go back to the AppLock app. Enter your password and go to settings. You might want to check this improved lock engine. Click on grant permission and search for the app and toggle on. Now go down and you can find some things. Hide pattern, shuffle pin pad. You can turn this or turn it off based on your preference and change app icon you can change this from you can change the app icon from variety of app icons like calculator calendar clock notes weather etc i am going with notes for now click on apply it will it might take a bit of while to show up the new icon until then i'll just show you something prevent force close or uninstall toggle the switch it will ask the device admin permissions click on activate this device admin app wait where's the app Oh no. Oh, I remember it's the notes. Now let's try to uninstall it.
uninstalling app lock unsuccessful as you can see no one can force uninstall the app until you until you click on manage device apps and disable this as a admin app on stock and it might show a pop up but on another phone it will give you it will give a error thanks for watching please like share and subscribe to my channel keep supporting i'll come back with many more videos like this until then take care bye bye